Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying on other people's hair. That's right, human hair from other human beings. <laughs> it used to be on someone else's head, now it'll be on my head. <laughs> I have several human hair wigs to try on for you today, as well as a synthetic one. This video is sponsored by Temu. Thank you so much for providing all of these lovely wigs. I've done quite a few videos with Temu at this point. I should probably make a playlist. But if you haven't shopped with them before, they are an affordable online marketplace. They have fashion, jewelry, wigs, obviously, home decor, pet supplies, just about anything you can think of. And their website is temu.com, or you can shop on the app. They have site-wide sales with savings up to 90% off, affordable prices, high quality items, and amazing coupons. They also offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. They also accept all major credit and debit cards, electronic payments, and pay later programs like Klarna and Afterpay. They've also given us a discount code, which is SALE7733 to get 30% off. So I'll leave my code and the links down below in the description box for you guys. And you can get up to $100 worth of Temu coupons. And all you have to do is click the link down below in the description box, use my code, and download the app. And just for watching this video, Temu will give you an exclusive discount by using my links down below. So, without further ado, let's put on some hair. So I've been getting a couple of questions lately asking what my real hair looks like because I do wear so many wigs, and you're looking at it right now. This is my real hair. <laughs> it is very long. It's naturally like a dark brown, but I did dye it black recently, so it's a little darker now. But this is how much hair I have to hide under these wigs today, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm hoping I can fit all of this underneath the wig cap because some of these wigs that I got are very, very short. Like, these are the shortest wigs I've ever gotten. But I'm excited. It's a good challenge. <laughs> First up, we have the Pixie Cut Wig Human Hair Wigs with Bangs Natural Short Black Wig Layered Wavy Wigs for Women and Girls for $16.49. I got the color black and hair length 6 inches. We love a good 6 inches, don't we, ladies? <laughs> this is the shortest wig I've ever gotten in my life, I think. We got a nice plastic bag here. Ooh! Well, I can tell you right away this is definitely human hair, so no scams here. Got an interesting smell. It's almost like perfumey. It's not bad. All right, so this does kind of look like a Karen bob, but let's see if we can make it look cute. This has a black wig cap. Underneath there are no clips. Hmm. And this is not a lace front wig. I wasn't expecting that, but that makes sense. It does not say lace front, so true advertising. We do have an adjustable strap in the bottom here to make sure it doesn't fall off our head, but uh, let's see if I can fit all my hair underneath this guy. Now I do have a whole video on how I do this, but basically what I do to fit all my hair underneath any kind of wig is just to braid it and then put like two wig caps on top to squish it all down. All right, the first and hardest part for me is done. Hair is completely braided. I'm gonna take this black mesh wig cap because I can't find a nude one at the moment and just stretch that over my head like so. Da -da 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 -da. You want to go for the lunch lady look. That's very chic. Very helpful for this. So I literally just stuff all my hair in the back, kind of wrap it around my head, doesn't really matter too much. And then we have the you know, skin colored wig cap that I just kind of stretch on top of there. And that's pretty much it. That's what I do to put all my wigs on. It's very simple. Now, let's see. Moment of truth. Will this fit on my head over all of my hair? Let's see. Drum roll, please. Can't get it on. <laughs> Wait! Again, again, drum roll. <laughs> it fits. Holy crap. <laughs> it actually fits. I am very, very surprised. Yeah, this is 100% the shortest wig. I've ever put on my head. I am just shocked that it's covering everything and the wig cap isn't like poking out anywhere. I do not feel like myself in this wig. This feels so strange because normally as you guys see I have hair down to my butt and now it's like there's nothing. <laughs> I really like the way that they styled it because it was very easy to just kind of like brush my fingers through it. Exposure, calm down please. <laughs> but I really like all of the kind of flippy bits that go to the side here and then I found that tucking it behind my ear and just having these little pieces out front looks a lot more natural. That's crazy. <laughs> like you guys can see that's the back of my head. This is like my neck. There's no filters. There's no nothing. My hair is just all in there. <laughs> It's kind of like a Kris Jenner type of haircut, but I feel like it's not as Karen-y as I was expecting it to be. It actually looks kind of chic. I like it. 
And I really like these little pieces at the neck too. I feel like that really sells the illusion that this is my real hair. It's staying on my head really well too. Like I don't even need to, you know, tighten the elastic band in the back. But yeah, I feel like a really cute little goth pixie. <laughs> this is gonna be really fun in the summer too when I don't really want a lot of hair on my neck. So I'm excited to wear this. Definitely gonna bring this on the goth cruise too. Next up we have the 613 blonde color 13 by 4 lace frontal bob wigs human hair 150% density transparent lace wig 10A Brazilian straight hair short bob wig for $45.99. I got the color golden and hair length 8 inches. This one came with the hairnet. <laughs> I actually don't own that many blonde wigs, but this one is very pretty. It's definitely more of a yellowy blonde for sure. It is human hair. Again, no false advertising here. It's really nice and soft too. The lace looks nice. We have a good lace front here. You can see that's the hairline, which is not bad. I am a little concerned with how see-through this part is right here. You can see kind of straight through down to the wig cap itself, but hopefully it'll look better on. The back of the wig itself, this hair is really nice and thick and fluffy, so I love that. And the inside of this is flesh toned and we have several clips to keep this on our head. And we also have that elastic band, so I'm gonna cut the lace and put this on. This is wild. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing myself as a blonde and I kind of feel a little bit like Tiffany Valentine with this makeup and the hair combination. I really like it. It's very soft too. I keep wanting to run my fingers through the hair in the back. It is shedding a little bit though, but not too bad. So here you guys can see the lace. I cut it as close to the hairline as possible in more of a jig jag, jig jag, a zigzag motion so it would be a little more natural. Now when I wear my lace front human hair wigs, I do glue them to my head with either got to be glued hairspray or something else. But for now, just to show you guys, I'm not going to be doing that. But this is what the hairline would look like if it were glued down. And honestly, it's looking really good even for not being glued down. I would just have to fix the side here, obviously, so you couldn't see my real hair poking through. But I like this wig a lot. I think the length is really nice. I like how it's already kind of styled and curving in towards the bottom here. That's really pretty. And this is a 613, so you could dye this any color that you wanted. That's what I did in my last wig video where I dyed my own for the very first time. But you could literally dye this any color that you wanted. I like these little friends just kind of sticking up on the side here. I'm definitely gonna have to use a wax stick to kind of tame those. But I'm really happy with this wig and it's not as see-through as I was expecting. You can see some of the darkness over here, but that's because I'm not wearing, you know, a fully nude stocking cap underneath. So if my whole head was this color, it would look a lot more natural. But it looks a lot better on than I was expecting. And I also like that because this whole front is lace, you can part it any which way and it will look a lot more natural. Doesn't that look natural? <laughs> super natural. <laughs> and I'm not sure yet if I want to dye this a fun color like blue or purple or keep it blonde, but I will decide that at some point. I have to. <laughs> but I think if I am going to keep this blonde, then I'll definitely tone it so it's more of like an icy blonde and take away some of that yellow. It's really easy to do that. You just put some purple shampoo in it. I just realized I did not show you guys the back, so here's the back. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? I can't see. <laughs> but like I said before, there is a lot of hair down here, so you will not see down to the wig cap. Next up, we have the Nature 13x4 Lace Frontal Remy Human Hair Color Bob Wigs for Halloween Costumes and Party for $82.99. I got the color blue and the 12 inch. A whole foot of fun. <laughs> that color looks good. Uh, I actually don't own any wigs like this, I don't think. I have an ombre blue to black. Oh, this is so pretty. The dye job on this is phenomenal. I just love how deep and beautiful this blue is. And there's multiple tones in here too. There's like some lighter blues, some darker blues, and it's very silky and soft. And that looks like a foot to me. We also have a little bit of baby hair in the front here. And there's the headline. The headline. <laughs> the hairline. <laughs> there's the hairline. I do wish that the knots were bleached in this. I'm gonna have to bleach that myself so it doesn't look like I have hair plugs, but I just am in love with this color. And the inside is nice and light. We have all this lovely lace to work with here, and we also have some clips as well to keep it on our head. So I'm gonna cut this lace and be right back. I'm blue, Oh my goodness, I'm blue. <laughs> I love this color. I do feel a little bit like a Smurf, but I love it. I love the thickness of this wig. I can run my hands through it and I'm not worried about showing my wig cap at any angle. I love the length. I think it's perfect. Not too short, not too long. And it's just this soft. <laughs> zoom you guys in here for a little close up at the hairline. 
There we go. I cut it off really close to the edge just so the lace would blend a little bit better. And I actually don't think I would need to glue this one to my head. It's sitting pretty tight all by itself. The only place I'd probably need glue is down here by my sideburns, but overall I'm liking the shape of this hairline. I think I'm just gonna have to pluck it because it does look very, very full. So that kind of takes away from the natural look. And we do have the hair plug look going on with these knots, but I will definitely bleach them so that will not be an issue. But I just love the freedom that having this much lace gives me with the parting. Like I could part it there, I could part it down the middle and have it look just as good. It's giving scalp. <laughs> as in, I scalped my enemy and now I'm wearing their hair as a hat. <laughs> and I do find it funny that there's just this one, one little strip of shorter hair in the front here. Just there. <laughs> Everywhere else it's the same length. So there is the back as well. Nice and thick. Lots of hairs. Looks nice. Does it not? Next up we have the 6 inch pixie cut wig orange short lace front wigs human hair pre-plucked straight 13 by 1 side part transparent HD lace front wigs human hair for women with baby hair 180% density. $30.99 and I got the color orange and the hair length 6 inches. I am in love with this color. It's very carrot top. <laughs> very ginger. It's giving Weasley. Ronald Weasley! <laughs> How dare you steal that car? I love it though. I'm gonna be the long lost Weasley sister. Oh, this is a more unusual inside for the wig. We have the lace up front, then we have a parting right down the middle there. So the lace is not as uh, large in terms of the parting space. Sad. But it's alright. I'll make it work. Then we also have several clips as well as the elastic band that holds it onto your head. I am loving the length of this one. I am going to cut the lace and put this one on. I'll be right back. For some reason that one was a lot more challenging to cut the lace, but look at it. It's Weasley chic. <laughs> I do really like the way this is longer on the sides here. It's a really fun cut. And then it's short in the back, obviously. Then I gotta figure out what to do with this guy over here, but it fits me really well. Long enough to tuck behind the ear for sure. And you got the shorter cut on the sides here. Just zoom you guys in so you can see the hairline. Hairline's really good, actually. I like it a lot aside from the knots, but again, I'm gonna bleach those. I like this hairline. It is thick, but for some reason it just feels good to me. I don't know. <laughs> you can see I also cut the lace really close to the edge of the hairline so it looks more seamless. And the sideburns come down just at the right length to cover my natural hair, so love that. This side is definitely going to need some glue to cover up the sideburns, but that's what got to be hairspray is for. <laughs> and then we have the part here, which is looking really good as well. You can see a little bit of the wig construction here, but if you just do that, it's gone. <laughs> so you are more limited with the styling of this wig because there's only the lace here and that part. So if you flip it over, you could do it, but there won't be any parting where you'd be able to see down to the wig cap. It's just going to be the wefts of the wig itself. So if you don't like a right side part, you're out of luck. <laughs> and there is the side as well. It's a lot shorter here, which I kind of like. And we got the short bits in the back. I love the back of this wig. It's really cool. It's really nicely cut too, how it's like really long here and then just goes And we got this side as well. We got the long bits here and then shorter, obviously going towards the back. And last but not least, we have the long straight hair wig tea part lace front women's long straight synthetic wig heat resistant hair wig for daily use for $26.49. And I got the hair length 24 inches and the color pink. Now, unlike all of the other hair in this video, this pink wig I'm about to try on is not human hair. This is synthetic. This is a long bag. Like, my whole arm fits in this. <laughs> it's like those gloves that vets use when they stick their hand up a cow's butt. Check its temperature. Very useful. Good to have it around the house. <laughs> Ooh, she is long and luscious. Oh, I'm in love with that color. Yeah, I can definitely tell this is 100% synthetic, but I love the inches on this thing. Holy crap. I think this might be as long, if not a little bit longer than my natural hair. So that's a lot. We also have lace in the front here. We have quite a few baby hairs as well. We have a middle part, kind of like the wig I'm wearing right now, where it's only lace down the middle. So you can't do a side part on this. We have clips as well as an elastic band in the back. I'm going to go cut the lace on this one and put that on and be right back. 
I feel like Lady Gaga. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of this wig into frame, but it is very, very long. I love the color. As you all know, baby pink and black are my two favorite colors, so I'm wearing both now at the same time. I am very spoiled with human hair wigs because this is the part that I don't like with synthetics. It is tangling a little bit already, but that's just the nature of synthetic. They tangle a lot more easily. But the hair is gorgeous. It is very silky and soft. It does have that more synthetic shine to it, though, as you can probably see on camera. It's very, very shiny. Gotta figure out what to do with these baby hairs. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in here. This is definitely more of a kind of like a party wig, Halloween wig, because it doesn't look as realistic on the part here. You can definitely see straight through to where the wefts start in the wig. But this would be a lot of fun for shooting content, you know, doing a photo shoot. I'm just obsessed with the color of this one. And as I mentioned, we have a lot of baby hairs here, just kind of chilling in the front. They definitely need to be styled. But the good thing about baby hairs is that they do help to camouflage the hairline of a wig like this. But even without them, I think the hairline is looking really good. I did cut the lace close to the wig hairline again with a little bit of a zigzag pattern there, you can see. And this one also has knots, but it's not as noticeable because it's such a light color. Whew, so much hair. <laughs> trying to see if I can zoom out far enough so that you can get the whole wig in frame. I can kind of get it. There we go. <laughs> so this is the full wig in all her glory, all the inches. Very, very long, as you can see. I kind of want to keep this on for the rest of the day. I just love this color combination of the black and the baby pink. But what do you guys think? Would you wear this much hair? <laughs> and that is it for my Temu wig haul. Hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun trying on all these shorter hairstyles. It's a big change for me, obviously, because my hair is super long. But which wig was your favorite? I can't really decide. I really like that short red one, but the short black one is really fun. But comment down below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to click the links down below in the description box to get your exclusive discounts. And you can use code SALE7733 to get 30% off. And the discount code should work on both the Temu website and the Temu app. I just got home from singing at a funeral this morning, but I really do enjoy singing at funerals, as odd as that might sound, because I, you know, I do find everything to do with death fascinating. And just being around funerals and death so often, it really reminds me to enjoy life and not waste any time with my loved ones, because you never know. Today could be your last day. <laughs> but it's a nice reminder to just spend time with people that I love and just go out and do things that I want to do, not to put it off too far in the future. So it's a job that I really enjoy. Plus, hopefully I get to add a little extra something to ceremonies for grieving family and friends and help send off their loved one with some nice music. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Welcome back to my Chanel, and today we're gonna be to our house and trying on some heads. <laughs> Welcome back to my Chanel, and today we're gonna be trying on a bunch of wigs. How exciting. Welcome back to my Chanel. Today is gonna be all about hair, specifically the kind that goes on your head. <laughs> I have a variety. There's a spider on my light. Hey, you ain't paying rent. Get out. <laughs> the audacity. I ain't got nobody. And nobody cares for me. And it's fine by me if you never leave. Do I have pictures of these wigs to tell you? Yes, I do. We gotta raise up the exposure. There we go. We gotta raise up that exposure because you can't see this against my dark background. Should have thought of that earlier. Holy shit, that's too bright. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on my dress. And it's in my butt. And for wigs this length, this length, <laughs> for wigs this length, I'm full.